Chaya, it's so great that we're sitting down and talking. Oh. I have to say this, and, I'm, and congratulations on 47 years. Did you do? Did you? No, oh I didn't. I mean, do you <laughs> believe it? It's been such a long time. But you yeah. know what, what I want to talk to you about? You came to the Ailey Company in 72. Right. And I think that was, for me, that whole era was the golden age of it. Oh my goodness, yes. I mean, when you think about it, in 71 there was Cry, there was yeah. Mary Lou's Mass. Um, Streams, like ascending. Yeah, you know, yes. I was choreographing in two weeks for all those ballets. Yeah, it was six ballets. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, you know, of course, with, uh, Miss Jameson, Dudley, Clive Thompson, Kevin Rotalde, Mari Kajiwara, I mean, Sylvia Waters all those uh, dancers with the Arvin, so he was just a, like a fountain. Yes. You yeah. know, all the idea came out. Yeah. So when you came that year, he, he did love songs, and then John Butler did According to E. Yes. Now, um, um, what I read, you assisted both, as assisted both Ailey, you were assistant to the choreographer to both Ailey and John Butler. Yes. John uh, started working with the John and, uh, much later, but, uh, well, First, uh, you know, introduced to John was uh, Alvin, you know, cast me and uh, Miss Jameson and all got to do this according to this trio. Right. But that time, you know, Alvin was a really summer, summer rehearsal time, Alvin, Alvin always gave it to the school to do use that space, which is at uh, 59th Street uh, between uh, 3rd Avenue and uh, uh, 2nd Avenue. Old church, yeah. you know, so that there are only three studios, but uh, he always gave it to the school. So. First company have to go around to different location to the London Ballet or rehearse. So John Butler and then Miss Jameson and Oka and I went to the YWC, which is a 50th Street on 8th Avenue. Mm -hmm. Used to have a crack center. And then this ballroom we learned. So sometimes the dancers think, where are they going? Where are they at? You know, so, sometimes I, we took a class, we take a class in the school and right away take, you know, walk to the, the rehearsal place. So uh, we didn't see sometimes two weeks and uh, other people because John was really only, Mr. Butler only worked with the cast. They don't bring in the second cast right. to really he make a shape. So, it's, but it's uh, quite an interesting time. Uh, Alvin was every day in the rehearsal and uh, just uh, one of the most exciting, most uh, creating uh, time for Alvin there. That's See, right. this is what I want to talk to you about because I spoke to Dudley yes, yes. about Ailey's creative process, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, but I, he was very nice to me as a person. Yeah, I know, I know. Yes, he he, he, you nice. always, uh, you know, hung around at the studio or theater. I know you are always yeah, uh, and then supporting then, us. Yes, yeah. and, and then you know back then I would uh, well I would take the rosin when you guys yeah, rehearsed yeah, yeah, at yeah, City yeah, Center, yeah, yeah. so I could watch the rehearsals. Yeah, yeah. and. Um, there was I, when Dudley talked about the way he worked. Yeah, he worked a certain way with him. I was just wondering, well, how was that process with you working? With when him? I become a uh, assisting uh, him, uh, he has a music, and then he started phrasing or he make a step. Then he asked me to count the music, so I counted the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four. Uh, counted out all eight count. Then next day, uh, I'll be asking me. When trumpet is coming, I said, I said one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, coming in trumpet. I write down. And the next day he said, when the piano coming in, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he said, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, beginning of six, or the piano coming in. Or something like a little bit of instrument I give. So that time already he had a basic step, you know, doing what he said, step, step, step. And then I said, oh, the four, five and the trumpet coming in, he said, head at it. And then in the six coming, you know, more body, and he tried to play, almost like uh, we're dancing music score. Yes, yes. You know, so then from there, he wanted to ask to be more personal, you know, approach to that step. And that was, uh, I think he was, um, I think it was brilliant, you know. Without us, you know, we the one is uh, sending a message to the audience. Right. You know, but the, who we are is that uh, he really loved it to show off. So he always said that use my step and then show yourself. So that was a really quite uh, education for me. 
Well, it was br- I, 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 you say it is brilliant because uh-huh. what it does it brings the artist forward. Yeah. And it's like you know, um, I always look at choreography sometimes like painting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. When you you mix colors, but you can't always dictate how the colors going to come yeah, out. True. And I think that he did that with dancers. Yeah. He knew how to manipulate you and then give you enough room so you yeah. can bring yourself oh, totally. forward. Yeah. There is a uh, one uh, uh, videotape exists which is called uh, we call it Italian special. And what happened is uh, uh, this uh, producer came from, the director came from Italy, and uh, all the actually crew came. And uh, we videotaped and uh, made uh, this film through the New York City. And uh, sometimes he's in the subway, sometimes uh, take to the, uh, put the dance floor and that the harem with the Rene Robinson does cry. And uh, sometimes Dudley and I uh, went to the, this uh, jail and then uh, did the survivor section or the, uh, we went to the, the promenade, uh, Brooklyn promenade, did Night Creature, and through the city. And he was, he enjoyed so much. Because what happened is really, we started more like uh, communicating with the uh, community. Yeah. You know, we, we are living in New York City, we are all the audience come from most of the time, you know, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, uh, Bronx. You know, all those people comes in, and then we spread out all those area, and they showed his work. That was one of my favorite, favorite video, actually. Uh, but in the album, it's always connected people. And uh, for instance, we go on tour. He hung around for stage hands more often. And so you, now, if I go to the Atlanta Fox Theater, and somebody's already, is, you know, close to 80 years old, they know Alvin. It's amazing. It's I don't know, very difficult to me to explain who he is, but if you hang around, I mean, every day is something is to make you smile. You know, he was like that person. But, and then, you know, um, around, um, you know, you danced for 15 years. You know, you know I love seeing you do. <laughs> I can't say many things I love seeing you do. I'll never forget you doing the second, sec- the second person in cinema. Oh, yeah. With eternity. You had such an abandon. Oh, I went through it, was like, ah, and you would hear, ah, you would just explode all the time. It was so great to see that. Thank you, thank oh. you. It was, and uh, revelations of how they look at, I mean, look back at the, one of my the most favorite in you know, ballet to dance. You know, always, always different. Every day, I practice every day, and then intermission, and 15 minutes of intermission before the revelation start, I practice, but always a little different. For instance, something I did. Great, great say. I, I thought, you know, I always said, that was good. So I decided, what did I eat that morning? What did I do afternoon? I mean, follow exactly the same. Of course, it never be the same. Yes. <laughs> but, that's, but that's great. That's but, great. Uh, you know, so the album will be introduced so many different people, like George Faison, and uh, he knew, put, put me in at this dance called Sweet Oris. I had a great time I'm dancing with that. There. You know, Alvin has a quite a good chain of friends there and then really supported Alvin all the time. This 70s, I mean, talk about the golden year. Yeah, and then when you speak of some sweet oats, I remember you funny doing it. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. It was so fabulous. Yeah. And but see, all these, the thing that I loved about that era, there was a human quality oh, about totally. the dances. Oh, 100%. And I, absolutely, that's absolutely right word. You know, I couldn't figure out what the <laughs> word is. <laughs> but that was, yeah. yeah. it was a human quality. And there were people now, and no offense, because I think everything is yeah. great in, in its own yeah. time. Yeah. But people come to me and say, you know, when I, when uh, they oh, you're reviewing, you know, I miss this. I miss it. And the things they talk about are the ballets where it was usually some kind of male, female, yeah. or male, or whatever, struggle, adversity, yeah. but it was a human quality. Yeah. That like a really blue sweet. Yes. You know, I miss that it is a blue sweet. It's always fun to watch and fun to be in it. Because it's the everyday little different, but the, always the relationship between the women and the men could be different. You know, today's the most romantic, more fighting, more gentle. You know, as, as the, our dancers can do so much. Oh, yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. But they always, you know, the early dancers always were the stand, the modern dance standard. Yeah. And, yeah. and you could see um, somewhere around, I, now, I, one of the things I remember that one of my favorite John Butler ballads, uh-huh. and I have to mention because it's right, was Carmina Burana. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw Clive, Judith Jameson, Christopher Aponte and Enid Britton do. Wow, that's a good cast. Yes, it was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and she danced our point. It yeah, was yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just talking about that, using that music. Oh, yeah. oh my God. You know, we, we were uh, 
after we, you know, the, the John gave us, Mr. Bado gave us the Zabala and then we did a city center or US tour. We took to Paris. We did a um, Paris sports. This is a, like a, what's it called? Arena. Yes, yes. And then we did a, three weeks, we did a, almost every night, Camino. I would just love it. Of course. You know what I mean? And then one time, we, even we took to the Germany because of what happened to Carl, I mean, that the composer was a kind of a stronger German, so they had that some program, da 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 da, but the audience loved it. Of course. With the Carl Orff. Yeah. Carl Orff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and to me, it became my, if, if, if my phone was to go up, it's my ringtone. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's, that's how that, that yeah. I, I've listened to the music all the time yeah. still, and yeah. it left that kind of impression on me. Yes. But, you know, but how did you, you know, it's a difference between being a dancer yes. and then rehearsing dancing. It's a big difference. It did a difference. You know, I mean, when I was dancing, I was just uh, having a good time. Right. And then when, when I start sitting in front, then I had to, had to really remind me all the time that day each dancer thought that I love to be a dancer. The fun, because so much fun, so much enjoy. I cannot do any more than just standing. I want to jump. <laughs> that feeling, I just wanted to make sure how difficult that step is, how difficult the situation is. I just wanted to remind them, this is fun. Right. I mean, it's really supposed to be fun. You know, so I mean, even doing a uh, difficult character or difficult step, you should have that fun. You know, so as long as that have, audience can feel it. Right. You know, you you with a really deep, deep story dance you're doing. So I always wanted the dancer to having a fun. So at the before curtain goes up, I talk to the dancers and stuff, and always uh, have a fun. Is, usually people say good luck or break a leg, but I always I said fun, have a fun. But that's I mean, you know that, but that's what dance should be. Yeah. Well, it should be joyous. I mean, it's a hard enough profession. It doesn't yeah. last that right. long. No. And um, it should be. It should be joyous. Yeah. Most of the dancers start at ten o'clock class to finish at the, if a performance day, uh, probably start class at around noon and they finish ten thirty. It's uh, all day long, you right. know. So they've been dancing. So this job is special job. So much fun. You know, so and enjoy it when you do. But you're dancing when you perform. You were always exuberant. I have to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's all, I mean, that's why I remember you in that cinema section. Every time you went on stage, it was just like energy and light, and uh, it was you know amazing to see. Yeah, thank you. Thank no, you. No, no, thank you for you yeah, left that, I, you put that feeling in this. I'm very happy, Mr. Area casted me to do that, and I always, uh, you know, procession also, Twiggy, I called at the holding on that branch and then leading out this procession. I, that would feel good too. You know, but uh, it's hung around with him. Uh, you know, sometimes the people say, that, you're Asian, you know, and you've never been at the uh, church in the South and stuff, but the way he rehearsed me, the way he talked about Revelation, I didn't feel the difference, you know, and he always uh, like uh, people's gather different people together, different culture to be mixed. And so I think it's uh, almost like, a, especially to come to the, the church, I think universal. And I mean, ev every church is always an uh, open door for anybody to right. be coming in. So I think uh, he has that you know, idea about, uh, I can dance the revelations, and, uh, which is uh, my favorite, how they look at it. You know, so I had a great time dancing at revelations. Now I know that you're going to be stepping down as the associate artistic I know. Director. I know. <laughs> but I know also that you're, you're not, this is not the end of what you're going to do. Yeah, going I, to I like to do, uh, of course, I know that uh, Miss Jameson and Miss Waters, Sylvia Waters, and, uh, and uh, ask uh, always uh, you know, input and also that the guidance. And I could make a website a little stronger for, uh, so for instance, uh, some dance company or school or individual dancer wanted to approach, Say I like to do uh, say Miss Diary's work, and or students. I, I'm going to go to competition. I like to do that the vortex section from uh, the the river, or uh, my company is small, but I love to have a night creature, you know. So I like to put a, the website, yeah. so people can approach. Then they, after that, in a more detail, they can figure out, and then our company's lawyer going to contact and make a you know agreement. So also, I can figure out who can teach which ballet. You know, we have a 
so many beautiful dancers, and they also, you know, dancer already left the company and then doing a teaching or performing in Broadway show or, you know, something maybe housewife or, you know, dad or. But those talented people have so many information from, uh, you know. I've been dancing in Arvin's work, so I want to, I can sign up who can teach night creature, who can teach uh, the river, you know, I can sort of uh, make a plan. Yeah. So once whoever the approach to us, I can send it this dancer to, and then so more and more different company does daily work. But that, that would be good, because it gets, it more good, people right? will yeah. see, more yeah, people will exactly. see an experience. Yeah, because and, and then to me, I, I'm sorry to cut you. No, 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 no. no. But it, Ailey was all about the joy of yes. and, and I mean, sharing. Exactly. That's what that, uh, I think the Alvin is about. You know, sometimes it said, what is Alvin Ailey's technique? And stuff? People are asking me about it. It's about sharing and the uh, generosity, generosity yes. to the, the audience and the sharing with the student or people there. That's what I think Alvin always liked it. Now this I'm going to thank you so much. Oh, thank because, you for your time. Oh, my pleasure, and much continued success. Thank you. you. Know, it's been a it's been a pleasure seeing you here. Oh, thank all you. of this time. It's been like one of the the, the rocks of this company. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. All right.